Last week, largest seismic activity pretty much occurred in the critical time frames that I mentioned in the previous forecast. Around the 9th would be critical and we had a 6.2 on the central mid-Atlantic ridge and also from the 12th to the 14th and on the 13th we had a 6.4. Some agencies reported 6.3 in the New Ireland region Papua New Guinea. I had projected the earthquakes on the SSGI graph and we see that the 6.2 followed on the high lunar peak that occurred on October 8, 9. Could have been larger, definitely. And we see that the strong earthquake on the 13th followed on the higher lunar peak on the 12th and the critical planetary geometry coincided with it. And again, this was Earth in alignment with Mercury and Jupiter. This could have been significantly larger as we've seen in September. The same alignment occurred two times and we had a 6.9 and even a 7 pointer. In the coming week, we have some planetary alignments coming up. We do not have a convergence of critical planetary geometry. Each one occurs with a day in between. On the 14th, we had Mars in an alignment with the Sun and Uranus. I do not consider that alignment critical because only outer planets are involved. Tomorrow morning on the 16th, Venus, Mercury, Uranus. This is one to keep an eye on here. We have the two fastest moving planets, Mercury and Venus, against an outer planet. That can be quite critical and we could have a mid-6, maybe even magnitude 7 earthquake as a result. And I will show you the most critical time in a minute on the SGI graph. On the 18th, Mercury, Sun, Saturn, also considered critical. And we see that during these days, Earth is about to line up with Venus and the Sun. And that alignment will be exact on the 22nd. In the solar system, we see that Venus, Mercury and Uranus are almost in alignment. We see that Mercury is about to line up with Saturn. That will be on the 18th. And Mercury is moving pretty fast, about 4 degrees per day. So if you go to the 18th, we see that indeed Mercury is in alignment with the Sun and Saturn. And all the while, we see that Venus and Earth are about to line up with the Sun. Venus is moving slightly faster than Earth. But the difference isn't that great. And if we go to the 20th, we see here that they are in an exact alignment. But the alignment, the influence of the alignment will take a bit longer because, as I said, the velocity difference between the two planets isn't that big. So if we move Venus to the left and to the right, we see that Earth is moving pretty much with it, but slightly slower. So this alignment takes a bit and it could be critical especially because of the alignments preceding this one going back to the uh, 16th here we see that indeed earth here is about to line up with venus well venus is in alignment with mercury and uranus and we go to the 18th and we see both planets move again almost in an alignment while mercury is in an alignment with the sun and saturn so again while these alignments occur the most critical of which i believe is venus mercury uranus on the 16th and then Mercury, Sun, Saturn on the 18th, Venus and Earth are about to line up with the Sun. So we shouldn't underestimate these three alignments in the coming week. On the SGI chart, we can see that um, Venus, Mercury and Uranus align early on the 16th, which is coinciding with a uh, lunar peak 13 on the index. But we actually see two peaks and that indicates quite some critical lunar geometry. And then we have this alignment early on the 16th. A seismic increase may occur as a result 16th, 17th most likely, and it could be a mid-6, maybe magnitude 7, depending on the condition of Earth's crust, the amount of stress between faults, that's key. But there is the potential here for a seismic increase. A strong to major seismic event is possible. We see a higher lunar peak, 14 on the index on the 19th, following the Mercury-Sun-Saturn alignment, and we could have a seismic increase as a result around the time of the lunar peak, or just following the peak. It's also possible that not much is going to happen with the first lunar peak and that the seismic increase is going to occur around the time of the second lunar peak and that would be on the 19th. But again, that very much depends on the condition of Earth's crust. We also see some critical planetary geometry involving Venus and Mercury on the 20th and then on the 22nd, as we've seen, Earth is lining up with the Sun and Venus and that alignment is followed by a high lunar peak reaching 18 on the index. And I will cover that in more detail in the next forecast. Let's see what's going to happen in the coming week. As I said, Venus, Mercury and Uranus in alignment. That is a critical one. And a mid-6 to 7 magnitude earthquake is possible in the days following or around the second lunar peak. That would be the 19th. Check out the website for the latest forecast, the magnitude probability and the forecast video. Additional updates will also be posted on Telegram and on Twitter. Be safe everyone. Until next time.